In a world where so many people are chasing after the perfect product, such as the sexiest looking, most technologically advanced and highest quality car, or the most exquisitely yet contemporary design house, or just simply the best looking selfie photo with a pretty background, the right curves on your body and the perfect skin tone and texture, how do we make a product that's what these people want? Or even how can we top such expectations? Hi, I'm Colin, and this is the story of quality versus Wabi Sabi. To help you understand these two terms, quality and Wabi Sabi, allow me to attempt to tell you a story involving quality cars made after a world war, beautiful homes that you are sick with, and a perfect selfie that ruined a business. It all began in the mid-1940s when America was mass-producing cars to satisfy the demand of consumers. We know that when things are made in bulk, they tend to be cheaper. But generally, with faster and cheaper output, one other thing suffers. Quality. And so, faced with massive quality issues, the American car makers turned to a quality expert by the name of Edwards Deming. So, Deming studied the manufacturing process of the car makers, and he deduced the roots of the problem. He explained that to make something that's cheap but good, they could not accept a lower quality. Instead, it should be the opposite. He told the car makers that they had to raise the standard and tolerances in the manufacturing process had to be a lot more specific. In essence, to produce something faster and cheaper, it had to be done with higher quality. Naturally, the Americans thought that Deming was crazy and laughed at him. And because he was relatively unknown at that time, he disappeared for a while until the Japanese sought upon his expertise. Now at that time, which was after World War II, the Japanese were suffering from having no quality homemade products to export. So Toyota, Nissan and the other car makers there hoped to have their cars exported to the world. Not only any car, but quality cars. And so Deming was brought to Japan and he told the Japanese car makers the exact same thing. He told them that to make cars that people want to buy and drive while manufacturing them fast and keeping costs low, they will have to raise quality. Unlike the Americans, the Japanese listened and increased the quality of their cars. And I guess you already know this, Japanese cars from Toyota, Nissan, Honda overtook the quality of cars made in America and Europe, arguably even up to today. Now, with the Japanese achieving fast, cheap and good quality cars, isn't it the end of the story? Well, humans being humans, we will naturally crave even more. So let me tell you the next part of the story. Wabi Sabi. How many times have you gone into a condo show flat and admired the beautiful interior design of the show units there? Immaculate, tastefully done, exquisite. For every show flat you go into, regardless of whether it is of a mass market project in Sengkang or an opulent one meant for the exquisite view in Bukit Timah, you will not find any real life references such as IKEA furniture, a cluttered section in the kitchen with way too many appliances and pots and pans or a bedroom that's actually meant for sleeping. And after going to 3, 5, 10 or more show flats, you might even say that they all start to look the same. And that's probably the reason that for a while, the contemporary interior design team was so well sought after by real world homeowners because it was timeless and it could be renovated quickly and relatively cheaply and it's quality but after tens of thousands of homes doing the same thing they all start to look the same 
in a world where we all pursue perfection, we all want the best, which oftentimes is described by, yes, you guessed it, fast, cheap, and good quality. But because being perfect is subjective, the degree of fast, cheap, and good varies too. But nonetheless, it still leads to the same outcome, just like a Toyota, Nissan, or Honda, that so many people are buying and driving. They are good quality, but they are the same. So people who want an even more perfect product to start will deviate in one of those three components of being best. They either accept that a perfect product will take more time to be delivered, it's going to cost more, or the quality must go up even higher, or a combination of all three at the same time. So they accept that a masterfully designed house by a renowned architect will take two, three, four years to build instead of two months using um, IKEA furniture for the renovation. Their Louis Vuitton bags give way to Hermes Birkins and ultimately to a bespoke one-of-a-kind bag that's handcrafted by an Italian crafter. And the Toyota owners upgrade to Lexus, to Porsches, to Bentleys and finally to even Paganis. The irony in this is, as products such as these are pushed up the perfect scale, they actually become more imperfect. The house that's custom built has illogically long corridor to reach the bedrooms. The handcrafted bag has stitching that's inconsistent and Pagani's break down a lot. Yet, such imperfect products are valued a lot more than their perfect counterparts. So this is the concept of Wabi Sabi, where an old rustic shop house can cost $7 million. An ugly white and brown crocodile skin, in my opinion at least, Birkin bag can retail at $400,000. And a very running Porsche from 1970 that can't even be driven on the road can fetch US $14 million at the auction. Today, the perfect isn't perfect in the eyes of those who can see the value anymore. To them, the flaws which make these products imperfect actually make them better. So with Wabi Sabi, which contradicts quality, the appetite of most people are changing yet again. So now, how can we make a product that's what people want or even top their expectations? Well, this is where the concept of being different comes in. But before I explain what different is, I need to tell you the story of this business owner who wasted a perfect opportunity to cash in because of her selfies. You see, this business owner is a middle-aged woman who is rather concerned about her looks. And whenever she takes photos on her phone, she makes sure that her filters are all on so that her complexion will be smooth, her hair tame, and her figure desirable. But then, she engaged the service of a video production crew to help market her business. They did a relatively good job featuring her story, her expertise, and her pitch. But such videos taken by professional cameras cannot top Hollywood quality edits. And more unfortunately, for her that is, these cameras don't come with filters like our phones do. So, her real look, her authentic look that every other person has seen, even herself in a mirror, was captured in those videos. Now, by any means, she wasn't unattractive. She looked great for someone her age, and more importantly, she spoke well. Her content are of substance, and her sales speech was great. But in the pursuit of wanting to look perfect, she did not put up a single one of those videos. There was little to no marketing done, and as a result, her business suffered a great deal during the two years of pandemic and opportunities. Now, in the end, it was deduced that she wanted the Toyota quality of videos, something that she could easily do on her own phone, which will make her look perfect. However, she was given videos that are of Porsche level of status, with wabi-sabi imperfections that made her videos look authentic, yet different, and imperfect it's better. Different and better. 
This is the concept of being different. Different is about being unfiltered, being authentic, being imperfect. The wabi sabi. Hence, you are different. But it's also about raising standards and meeting specs in the process. Or in other words, a product made to higher quality like what Deming demanded. And that's what we at Learn stand for in 2022. With Learn 2.0, the definition of everything we do centers around quality, around wabi-sabi, and yes, around being different too. If you want to shoot a templated video that thousands of your counterparts have done, you can settle with any other freelancers or production companies out there. But if you want a video that's truly yours, that's authentic yet different, and that's imperfect yet better, you opt for us at Learns. For property agents, you must be sick with the scores and scores of home tour videos that are no doubt affordably done and yes, still effective. But if you belong to the select few who prefer rustic shop houses over modern condos, you will want to look at our range of new home tour videos. For education centre owners, if you're tired of doing cookie cutter, educational or courseware videos, perhaps it's time for you to discover your new interactive videos where your parents and kids can click right within the video itself for more engagement and interactivity. And for any other business owner who need a branding video done but you want more than a Toyota grade of production and look, then you have to find out about the learns range of different branding videos. So back to the main topic. How can we make a product that's what people want or even a product that tops the expectations? Well, imbuing the concepts of quality and wabi-sabi, you just simply don't give them a product of what you think they need. But instead, you give them something that they want. But incorporating something authentic yet different and imperfect yet better something different